The U.S. president is promising military action, and he's doing it via Twitter. Let's take a read of Donald Trump's tweet here. He says, Russia vows to shoot down any and all missiles fired at Syria. Get ready, Russia, because they will be coming. Nice and new and smart. You shouldn't be partners with a gas-killing animal who kills his people and enjoys it. This is all in reference to the suspected chemical attack in Syria over the weekend, allegedly by the hands of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. Now, Russia fought back also using social media. This time, the platform was Facebook. This is actually from the Russian ministry. And uh, let's see the translation because it's in Russian here. Scroll up. She writes, smart missiles must fly towards terrorists, not a legitimate government that has been fighting international terrorism in its territory for several years. Now, the U.S. Secretary of Defense says if the military is needed, they're ready. We're still assessing the, uh, the intelligence uh, ourselves and our allies. We're still working on this. We stand ready to provide military options if they're appropriate, uh, as the president determined. <laughs> The alleged attacks took place in the city of Duma over the weekend. Amateur video shows victims, including several young children, being hosed down in a makeshift medical unit. Both Syria and Russia deny chemical weapons were used. But the World Health Organization is painting a very different picture. According to our health partners, more than 500 people presented themselves last Saturday to health facilities with symptoms that are consistent to symptoms of exposure to toxic chemicals. The organization says at least 70 people were killed and is now demanding access to Duma to help assess and treat those affected. Britain, France, Sweden and Australia among the countries also vowing to take action if the use of chemical weapons is confirmed. But that could prove difficult. Russia vetoing a UN Security Council resolution yesterday that would have established a body to determine whether chemical warfare did indeed take place. History will record that on this day, Russia chose protecting a monster over the lives of the Syrian people. Despite a number of tweets on this topic, Donald Trump made no mention of when the U.S. might actually launch an airstrike or if other countries would participate. Now, there is some precedence here. Just over a year ago, the U.S. did launch an airstrike at a Syrian airbase in retaliation for a sarin gas attack that killed dozens of civilians.